嗱，番梘同化妝品喺市面上輕易買到，但如果親手自製，就更加能夠迎合使用者嘅心意，有獨特性之外，材料更會落足啦。咁送俾人咧都唔錯噶。不過要留意嘅就係、是、屋企自製番梘同化妝品一樣受到聯邦政府監管，必須符合加拿大嘅衞生標準。吳宇雄報導。張台度擺咗咁多咁靚嘅蛋糕，望到都想食啊！不過原來唔食得㗎。因为全部都系番碱嚟，呢啲番碱系 April 自己喺屋企整嘅，因为佢丈夫当年送咗一块番碱俾佢做定情信物，所以佢对番碱特别情有独钟。April 好中意将自己整嘅番碱当作礼物送俾隔篱邻舍，因为佢觉得如果送其他嘅礼物，人哋要搵地方挤，送番碱就唔同啦，可以好快咁用晒佢，唔使压住嘅地方。不過 ，April 整嘅番梘咁靚，睇怕好多人都唔捨得用啦。After about six months time, it loses its prime time. So I try to encourage people if they receive a bar, bar of homemade soap, whoever makes it, it doesn't have to be me, that they should use it. 自製番梘並唔難，主要嘅原料有兩樣：油同埋輕氧化鈉 （sodium hydroxide）， 又叫做拉消鹼。係清潔劑嘅一種，可以喺 Home Hardware 等五金鋪買到。至於油，可以選擇各種嘅食用油。自己整番梘嘅好處就在於可以隨意選擇自己中意嘅香味同埋原料。Oatmeal is very good for the skin. It stops itching. I add clays sometimes. Sometimes I add seeds so that there's a, an exfoliation. This so here, the bottom section is colored with jasmine tea, and the top with chocolate. 不过番碱嘅主要功效系用嚟洗手洗面。如果喺番碱内加入朱古力等，会唔会越洗越邋遢咧？ If you put too much of the ingredients, sometimes you might end up with a brown or black hand. But if you put the right amount, you should be fine. 製作番梘嘅步驟其實亦都唔複雜。首先將兩種原料輕微加熱到攝氏三十度左右，就可以將佢哋混合。然後就要不停咁樣攪拌。四個鐘頭之後，將混合物倒落個模度，風乾大概四十八個小時。定咗型之後，再將佢哋從個帽入邊攞翻出嚟，基本上就大功告成。不過呢啲蛋糕番梘暫時仲未用得，因為定型之後要再等四到六個星期，等番梘變硬咗之後先至會襟用。如果唔想等多四到六個星期，可以選擇另外一種製作方法——加熱法。And you continue to heat heat it up for several hours. 除咗番梘之外，连化妆品都可以 DIY do it yourself。呢支眼线笔大家望落一定好熟悉啦。化开妆嘅人都知道呢支眼线笔咧就应该去药店或者化妆品公司买。但系原来自己喺屋企整一支都好简单嘅啫。Jane 系呢间化妆品 DIY 学校嘅导师。因為覺得市面上買嘅化妝品，消費者好難知道入邊含有咩原料，所以決定自己喐手整化妝品。They've discovered a lot of、um, chemicals are now in cosmetics, you know, especially lipstick, and it's going into your mouth. 而且自己整化妝品可以調出獨一無二嘅顏色。Blue,、um, red, yellow. From those three shades, you can get all spectrum of colours. So I often create my own colours from those. Then working with titanium dioxide, which is a whitener, and then you're working with black oxide, which is obviously dark black. You can get any different shade in the world. 不过所需要嘅原料就比整番碱要复杂得多啦。好似呢一支眼线笔咁，就至少需要五种原料：荷荷巴油一茶匙，蓖麻油一茶匙。蜂蜡半茶匙，棕榈蜡四分之三茶匙，将四种物料放入一个玻璃樽内，然后喺滚水中将四种物料溶解为液体，之后就可以喺混合体中加入云雾上色。Jane 喺示范嘅时候选择咗用两种绿色嘅云雾。
，跟住就用針筒將液體注射入準備好嘅不形溶氣中，因為溶液中含有鈉嘅成分，所以好容易凝固。話咁快，一支眼線筆就完成啦。除此之外，連胭脂同埋粉狀嘅眼影都可以自己整。需要準備嘅物料有米粉兩茶匙、新氧化物半茶匙、礦物粉半茶匙同埋植氧化物四分一茶匙。將以上物料放入一個粉碎機內，打成幼細嘅粉末，然後隨住自己嘅喜好，再加入紅色或者係啡色嘅雲母，就可以整成各種顏色嘅胭脂。不過，因為製造胭脂嘅時候需要處理大量嘅粉塵，建議大家要佩戴口罩。相信唔少人都有疑問，自己喺屋企整番鹼同埋化妝品，究竟係咪符合衞生標準呢？其實加拿大衛生部都係有規管嘅。Requirements include that the products must not contain any substances that may injure the health of the user,、uh, as well as the, the cosmetics must be manufactured, prepared, preserved, packaged, and stored under sanitary conditions.、Uh, the cosmetics must be notified to Health Canada as to the composition of the cosmetics. So that allows Health Canada to、um, Monitor the acceptability of the ingredients in the cosmetics, and,、um, and that must be done within 10 days of that cosmetic product going to market. And also, the, pro the products must have proper labeling, and that includes ingredient labeling. 即使好似 April 咁整出嚟嘅番碱只係以贈送嘅方式俾親朋好友，都一樣需要按照政府嘅指引申報，以及遵守所有嘅規定。如果掌握咗方法，自己整啲獨一無二嘅番鹼或者係化妝品，無疑係一件賞心樂事嚟，攞嚟送人亦都別具心思。但係就一定要記住遵守加拿大衛生部定落嘅指引，咁樣大家就用得安心又開心。